I lost my memory prank on my family gone too far. Then in the description you have, share this video for a chance to win an Apple Watch and subscribe here. Do these channels ever learn? Faking giveaways and tricking your kids to think you forgot who they are. Wow, this must be an epic prank. But I really have to go home. Oh, where's my phone? Stop. I'm calling the police. So after 13 whole seconds, I realized it was fake. Why, you ask? Well, listen to the heavy accent and realize, oh wow, wait, English isn't the first language. Wait, what? If they find their dad on the floor in their house, most likely they're going to react in Spanish, not in English like that. Damn, I didn't even think of that. that no, that was like my first thought. Like, honestly, like, would they not be more stressed about their dad's well-being? So obviously they would just kind of like speak rapid fire Spanish like all Spanish people do. <laughs> it's just so blatant, but yeah, whatever. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and continue this video. So do all family vlog channels have the exact same template? Family in the name have a ton of fake giveaways, way too long intros that have the name of every single person in the family, and then obviously fake pranks. And guess what? This family just checked all four boxes. Hey Diamonds, welcome back to our channel, Familia Diamond. So you guys might be wondering, why is he alone? It's because my family, they just left to a birthday party. And I told them that I was feeling sick. I wanna pull my memory prank on them. What is up with the sound effects that have just been randomly scattered into this video and they barely fit at all? Like, wow. I'm gonna be doing that, or at least I'm gonna try. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna be setting everything up. I'm just gonna wait until they come back and see if I can do it. By the way, we're giving away an Apple Watch. It's really easy to win it. Subscribe, like it, and share this video with your friends so they can have the chance to win it too. That single-handedly was the most enthusiastic fake giveaway ever. Share it with your friends so they have a chance to win as well. Like you couldn't have tried to sell the giveaway a little bit. Like you could have given a little bit of effort to try to make it seem like it was a real giveaway. All right, welcome to a family friendly how to. And today's how to is to how to tell if a giveaway is fake on YouTube. Number one, check if they say how they're gonna announce the winner. Number two, check if there's a date they will actually announce the winner. Number three, check how they're going to announce the winner. Number four, check if the credentials of entering the giveaway actually make it possible for them to pick a winner. Guess what? This family managed to just um, not include any of them. So the giveaway 100% is fake. The comments are even disabled. Like there's no way to tell who shared this video. So it's impossible for them to pick a winner in the first place. So this fake giveaway is just yet another tool for them to bring more engagement to their channel without giving anything back to their audience. All right, so first thing, I'm gonna hide the camera. What an amazing way to hide a camera. Cue the DIY music again. Hey guys, family friendly DIY on how to back it again with a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna teach you how to hide a camera like a professional, family friendly, family friendly, family friendly. Sorry, I just had to get those keywords in for the YouTube algorithm. Family friendly vlog prank channel. All right, so you saw how he hid the camera. First, you gotta find a tripod. Thankfully, I already set it up. That's how he hid his camera. As you can see, it's an extremely hidden camera. No one would ever be able to spot that. What is that? That's how he hid his camera. Disclaimer, this only works if you actually fake the entire prank or if your entire family is literally blind. I don't see anything. Oh yeah, okay, good point, actually. There's nothing there. Word, I forgot I'm dating Helen Keller. Makeup. But since I don't know how to do makeup, I have to watch a YouTube tutorial and I'll be back. Translated, that means uh, I don't know how to do my makeup, so I'm gonna go into the other room and let my wife do it. All right, guys, so I just heard a car. They're here and I'm gonna get in position. Wish me luck. Uh, never seen someone falling down the stairs, so I'm just gonna. In this position, I guess. Like this. I've never seen someone fall down the stairs before, so I'm going to assume this position. Uh <laughs> then the side of his head, which he hit, is lying faced up. It's not even on the ground. You, you're laying the wrong way. Is it too dramatic? 
Now, yes. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, he did correct it. <laughs> but here they come. Let's see this epic reaction and we've all been waiting for. Oh my gosh! Bobby! Bobby, Bobby! Oh my God. I saw Don't touch him! I saw him! Don't touch him! Don't touch him! Yeah! Baby! 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 Well, that was a very minor reaction to find your husband unconscious on the bottom of your staircase. Hey! Wait, wait! Wait, don't, don't touch him! Oh. Finds husband unconscious at the bottom of the staircase. Babe, did you fall? Honestly, we have to see the rest of this Oscar level acting. What happened? You, you, you're Mommy, you fell on the what stairs. happened? You're bruised. You fell. From where? From the stairs. Wait, who are you people? Stop. And you you fell, to... babe, from the stairs. You fell. Don't touch me, okay? Who? What? Why am I here? Because you fell off the stairs, That's babe. Why. You're super bruised. Do you want me to call an ambulance? Oh. You have your whole entire face bruised. All those days. Put this away. Who are you guys? There's nothing else to do but nominate them for the Oscars at this point. How he fell down a carpet staircase and forgot who his family is. Meanwhile, the camera is over there looking like that. That right there is just staring at them. And somehow the five family members around him didn't see that, that blatant thing right there. Also, he used like a red towel instead. So it's even more obvious. How do you think that these families who do these stupid fake pranks, how do you think they get their kids in on it? Okay, team, let's do this. Let's rowdy on up. Okay, let's rowdy on up around your dad. He's gonna pretend he doesn't know you guys. Remember, it's just a prank, guys. And also don't look at that extremely obvious camera camera over there. I mean, extremely obvious camera over there. Never look into the camera. I guess that's basically how they do it. I know, but I feel like if I were telling a kid to do that, they would immediately be like, why? Well, yes, but then you see they're making so much money that they can just bribe their kids with like infinity with toys. Is that not like kind of bad for like a kid though to constantly? It has to be 100%. And also like I'm shocked at like the level of editing on their content. Like the dude drives a Lambo, but he can't hire an editor. I am so confused here. Do you want me to call an ambulance? Do you want me to call an ambulance? Why is she calling you puppy? What is that? Bob, what's she? Bob, Why are you great. calling me puppy? I'm not puppy. Who are you people? When all prevention failed and this is your last resort. <laughs> I can't say that. The only entertainment here is the poor acting. This channel is just a parody on itself without even trying to be. But to not drag this video out for way too long, let's just skim through the rest. So I guess they whip out the family picture book to remind him who he is. And then he says this. No, that's my brother, shoot. That's for me. Okay, please show me what the exit door is. He also remembers his brother, but not his kids nor wife. You guys are freaking me out, you people. Okay? You people? Where? I don't know you guys. That is not people. Oh no, that's it. That's what triggered her. Not him forgetting who everyone is. Just <laughs> All he had to do was call them you people. And that was enough to trigger the wife. What she do? Call the ambulance finally? Oh yeah, she finally called the police saying the ambulance is coming. What the hell? That would be uh, yeah. like a gut reaction. Like you see someone unconscious in your house, wouldn't you immediately call 911? Yeah. Like no matter who it is. No, but honest, yeah, you, you would. Meanwhile, my dude's out here saying he doesn't remember his family for minutes, but as soon as he called them you people, then she's like, <gasps> Hello? 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 This is not a YouTube prank. No clickbait. My husband needs help. That's how I assume family vlog 911 call would be like. 
to pick up and they go, is this a YouTube prank? Yeah, they, do, they see the number call and they're just like, all right, first of all, we're finding your asses if this is a YouTube prank. And then what's your emergency? <laughs> Buddy just called his wife, you people. So, uh, oh no, what will ever happen now? I'm calling the police. An ambulance has to come get you. I don't need any ambulance. I have to go home. Hello? Who are you calling? Hello? No, don't call the police. Why? Don't call the police. It's a prank, Hello? guys. It's a prank. <laughs> This is entertainment on YouTube 2019. Also, remember this video was titled, I lost my memory prank on my family, gone too far. Yep, it went too far. And wow, some family YouTube vloggers are just unbearable to watch. I mean, no wonder they need fake giveaways to drive interaction. So guys, I'm gonna follow suit with them. If you enjoyed this video, you have a 0% chance to win a mega yacht. If you like the video, comment the video, subscribe to my channel, follow Adatozy on Instagram, follow Adatozy on Twitter, follow Gary the Puppy on Instagram, go subscribe to Gary the Puppy on YouTube. He was super rowdy today and just running around the room so I couldn't have him in the stew with us while we're recording. <laughs> this is the stew. This isn't the office. We in the stew. We in the booth. Gary couldn't be in the booth today because he was a little bit too rowdy. But on that note, I'll be ending the video here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Heard you had a lot to say. Now you don't really talk too much though. I've been running out these gates. But I'm not ever really late, no Yeah I've been seeing all these sights Been traveling In my suitcase I pack light I got my plans